Hello, good afternoon, it's Cher, Grin and Grandma. And do I look a little different? Because I never wear hats. I don't wear hats because I look stupid in hats. Not, not good, but not funny, but just stupid. I look stupid in hats, but my hair today is worse than stupid, so I'm wearing a hat. Enough of that said, I guess. Uh, plus, this is Thunder Valley. And uh, racetrack is not too far from here. So, as far as, you know, Bristol. Bristol racetrack, in case you guys didn't know. This is NASCAR country. So, uh, I wanted to talk to you about a few things. Because some of you have been uh, asking me about our shops. And you know, of course, that we've been trying to trim down some of the booths. I'll tell you what, I'm really glad that we've been trying to do that because I know you're not supposed to wear it like this, but I'm going to. Uh, the last couple months, the sales have been in the toilet. I mean, just flush a kerplunk. You know, I mean, I have never in the 20 plus years that we have been in brick and mortar shops never ever had a month especially two months like the last two that we've had uh, let's see month before last we had one shop one shop that made rent I mean hey you know, when you're putting out almost $2,000 a month in booth rent, that's pretty darn scary. And uh, this past month was, I think it was the same, actually. Or did we? We may not have, I don't think we made rent in any of the shops last month. Yeah, we did. We made $30 in one of them. Oh, jeez. I mean, this is terrible. And now we're a couple who relies on the income that we get from the shops, not from eBay, but eBay is starting to help a, quite a bit, actually. Um, and I'm going to show you, in fact, a couple weeks sale, sales in, in eBay and Mercari, Poshmark. I'll show you what's sold online, but I mean, geez. And look behind me. What a mess, huh? Hmm. But <laughs> I just can't believe that the shops have been so bad. So honestly, if you're thinking about going into a shop right now, I very honestly, I cannot recommend that you do it. Not now. Now, possibly in September. No, I don't even think in September. Maybe October things will pick up better, but I, no, I just can't recommend it. Sorry, kids, just, just can't, you know, and I know that uh, there's been a lot of vendors move out of, of uh, the shops that we're in. Let's see, we're in five shops right now. Uh, that's why we're paying almost $2,000 a month in rent, so. Uh, now, we didn't have to fork out a total of 2000 because some of them came pretty close to being paid. But, uh, you know, I mean, we're talking income here. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you some of the sales that, that we had online, uh, tell you where we where they came from, and uh, or where they sold, I'm sorry, where they sold. And we do have quite an array because, as you know, we do a lot of uh, estate buyouts. And we just have an, a real assortment of, of different items. Um, I'm going to show you this one. You're going to laugh. You know, I know what it is. I don't know who it is. I just know what it is. I know it's a transformer. I have no idea how these things work. No idea. None whatsoever. I know that you snap them together and they become different things. And 
you know, but how you actually snap these together, what it becomes, I have no idea. I'm going to have to find somebody around here who knows how to work this so I can put it on line and show everybody that it does work. So if you see some strange little kid in a video playing with one of these, or specifically with this, you don't know that uh, old grin and grandma here just didn't get it herself. My kids are all out of state. I've got two natural children, uh, three unnatural, meaning stepsons. Uh, but my son, who would be able to put this together in no time, his name's Brad, Brad Baker, by the way. He owns uh, North Nine Auto Sales in Anderson, Indiana. And if you see him, tell him mom said hi. Good guy, good guy. And oh my gosh, he's a good looking kid too. Well, he's not a kid anymore, he's in his 40s. But anyway, good looking. And um, just so my daughter won't feel left out, her name is Cindy McBain. That's not right. Cindy McKnight. Her name is Cindy McKnight. And she manages uh, Cane Break Apartments in Shreveport. So if you know her or if you're around, just tell her the same thing. Mama said hi. I love my kids. love my grandkids. I just don't get to see them very often. But anyway, I've got that that I have to do something with. See, that's the thing. I've got all of this stuff. And that's why my desk looks like this. That's why I'm not going to show you this office. That's why the office looks like this. That's where my warehouse looks like this. Because there's so many things I don't know about. And I don't mind looking things up, finding out stuff about them. But, you know, there's just so much. When you've got, when you sell things from sofas to vintage toys to linens you know you just can't know it all you really can't although I'd like to sometimes pretend that I do but I I'm not that great an actress I want to show you this I think this is just too cool it says Worcester Cathedral I don't know if you can see that uh, Hopefully you can. It's probably going to show up backwards. But anyway, it's um, Irish Cabin Tray Cloth. I don't have any idea how old this is, but I'm going to tell you something that's very old. Can you see that little tag on the inside? This is the original box. So, and this is the tray cloth obviously for the church and I have to believe that this was hand embroidered I don't know possibly by one of the church members uh, but it's never been used I'm going to list this pretty soon I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on Worcester Cathedral but obvious, I'm, it's got to be, what it says right here, Irish linen. So, I mean, you know, and Worcester, I'm, yeah, Ireland. What else can I think? So, anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of research on it, and I'll get it listed. Uh, and I've got so much stuff. I'm just only going to show you a couple of things. I think this is just beyond too cool. Horse and buggy. I have no idea of the date, no idea of who this couple is. I don't know who the horse is, but I just think that this is the coolest snapshot. It's got a photographer's name down there that I can't really see or anything but um anyway i'll be listing this too but wow i would say shoot i can't even take a guess 
It's earlier than 1920s. I know that. And I know that because I've got an old picture of my maternal grandmother and she had on a very short dress. It was, uh, it was a, it's a picture that I think she was beside a stream or something. Had on a very short dress, was showing a lot of leg, which might have been real racy back then. And this lady, well, of course, it's winter time, but she obviously is not showing anything. So, okay, I'm going to go on and show you what we did sell the first couple of weeks. The sales for me were good online. Now, I think I've told, I have no idea. I've told you this before, too. But uh, I'm not a great big online seller. I want to be. I want to be. Because I want out of the shops. But um, but I'm but I'm not. So, you know, you're going to look at these and think, oh, gee, that's all she sold. Well, you know, <laughs> if you saw the shop sales, you'd really be feeling sorry for me. But, uh Anyway, I will show you what, what sold online for the first, I think it was two weeks in this month. And, well, you'll see. Be prepared to not be impressed. That's about all I can say about it. Anyway, love you guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I'm tired. Can you tell? Look at these bags. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, uh, sorry for the study, stuttering and stammering and the mess behind me and uh, the cap and et cetera, et cetera, but it is what it is. And I have been trying to list more. And right now, by the way, I think I've got something like 520 things listed on eBay. Oh, and I wanted to tell you too, I do cross list, but I don't use list perfectly. Why? Because I'm not a big online seller yet. Uh, like I said, I've got about 520 things listed. Some of you are going to say, wow, that's a lot. And others are going to say, no wonder she's not a big online seller. But like I said, it is what it is. And I, I don't use list perfectly. It is expensive for someone like myself. Uh, I do use, it's a, it's actually an add-on. No, you call it an add-on? I don't think you call them add-ons. But then anyway, it's added on to your browser. Maybe you guys know more about stuff like that than I do. But but it's called Flip, F-L-Y-P. You can look it up, flip.com. And you add, you add it to your browser and you can cross-list under Mercari, Facebook, uh, eBay, and Poshmark. Uh, it says that soon we can cross-list to Etsy, but I haven't seen it yet, and I haven't heard anything that says that we're about to. So anyway, those, those four markets you can actually cross-list to and from. And that's what I use because it is free. And I will drop you uh, a link down below so you can you can see it if you want to give it a try. It's slow because you can only do one item at a time. Uh, well, you, you can see. But anyway, I like it because it's free and I'm cheap. Enough said. Here comes our sales. If you enjoy videos like this, then God love you. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoy videos such as this, please give me a thumbs up down below here, which means that you like it. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. It counts too. But please comment. I love your comments, even if they're not something I might not agree with. But uh, comment, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends about me. This silly old lady down in Tennessee somewhere trying to make a living. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.